Here is a coding wonder wall where students are learning how to code. And this is just one way that you could kind of organize your um, lessons for the week and they could kind of be like bell ringers. So students are just kind of going over John Hattie's three questions. What are they learning? Why are they learning it? And when will they know that they've learned it? And then they're going to see how will they be learning it? So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday are all laid out for the students. And then there's some must do and some aspire to do activities. So again, students are going to come in and every uh, weekday is a little bit different on what activity they're going to do to just kind of learn and grow their vocabulary and learn about coding. And then they're actually going to get into coding with these must do and aspire to do activities. So week one, you're going to put the words here. And then students are going to use Fast and Curious, which is an edu protocol where they're going to go to quizzes or GimKit or one of those sites that have those words. And you're going to play it and students are going to write the percentage that they got on Monday, that they got the second time, that they got the third time, fourth time and fifth time. You can either do this once a day or you could do it right after each other on that same day. So that's kind of up to you on how you want to organize it. Or you could say, OK, we're going to do it at the start of class and then the end of class. So again, you can kind of decide how you want to organize the vocabulary with Fast and Curious. They will probably score about a 20% the first time, but by that last time, their scores should be up about 90 to 100%. <clears throat> the next activity is an unplugged activity, where there are a bunch of different unplugged activities that um, code.org has. And so you can see this example right here, where you can go to, again, code.org, and there's a ton of different examples that students can do that are offline, and then they're working on um, different activities to help them understand debugging or to help them understand different parts when it comes to coding. On Wednesday, the students are then finding the air. So right here, students are finding the air, where you'll have some type of code that the students in your class have done or that you found online. They are going to watch that video, and then they're going to think about what did the student do wrong, and they're going to then solve the code correctly and explain their ideas. You're going to then share the different strategies that the students have together. On Thursday, there are these messages that students have to try to figure out and to solve the code each week with those different messages. And then on Friday, they're going to act it out. So here are just some fun um, scratch blocks and students are going to take these, add them out, and then their partner will do the code um, for them. So they have to act out those different codes and just make sure that they follow the directions. Number three, this can help. Um, I would have the students take any of the words that they miss and complete this design or this um, <clears throat> graphic to help them learn the unknown words that they know when it comes to coding. <clears throat> 